welcome back to living supernaturally we're talking about serving well we're talking about um, aspects that will help us honor god uh, and today uh, i want to touch on the word honor itself uh, whatever service we're bringing to god you know let that be an honorable service there are a couple of scriptures uh, that paul wrote to the corinthian church and i'd like to read them out first second corinthians 6:3 He says we give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 32 Give no offense either to the Jews or to the Greeks or to the church of God. In these verses Paul is um, talking to the Corinthian church and encouraging them not to give offense in any form of service that they're doing. Uh, and looking at Paul and his life, you know, we see how careful he was Uh, such that his ministry would not be blamed and that he would not be um blamed for the wrong standards and it's not uh, just so people would would know you for the right standards but it was his personal conviction to honor the lord with the right standards of service or ministry now one example is when uh, aid was being sent to a church in need you now money was being sent to them and Paul was overseeing that but we see that uh, he never uh, did it uh, in a way that people could find fault with him in fact he chose uh, honorable men people with good testimonies to take that money and go and hand it over in a transparent way to the people in need and uh, Paul himself you know for for some reason he did not engage with those financial affairs and even towards the end of his life you know we see that he was um caught in jerusalem uh, and uh, there were many accusations made about him that he uh, brought uh, you know some form of uh, um uh, you know he he inconvenienced the jews and he spoke ill of the jews and things like that uh, but though paul goes under trial you know under governors and kings and um later on you know the the roman uh, em- emperor Uh, you find that nobody was able to bring out anything that Paul actually did wrong so uh, that's the way you know, we see the the standards of ministry set by um, God's people uh, who have who have gone before us and that really challenges us and today you know as we look at uh, the things that we are doing you know, in, in the words that we speak um in in the examples that we share in the in the way in the attitude that we carry the way we engage uh interact with people around us there are many things that can actually offend people or oh, how about the law of the land but uh we are called to be honorable with regard to everything and we must do our best to do an honorable service honorable ministry honorable in the sight of god as well as honorable in the sight of man Let's pray that God would help us do this. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that you have called us to serve you, to serve your kingdom. Lord, we pray for your wisdom in all things that Lord um uh, in our in our speech, in our uh, conduct, in our actions, Lord that uh, we would do things uh, in line with your character, O oh God. And Father that it would uh, honor your name and Lord that we would not cause any offense oh God but and help us Lord help us to serve you uh, and glorify your name in Jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org